hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to learn how to create a dashboard in power bi yes in our last tutorial we learned how to clean data in power bi if you are yet to see that video I'm putting the link above there so you can click on it to watch how to clean data using power bi before you can go ahead with this video so in this video we'll be talking about how to create your first dashboard in power bi so if you're interested in learning how to use power bi for data analytics then this channel is for you so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to be notified when a new video is posted okay guys so this is the dashboard we are going to create it's a sales data analysis dashboard so this is a basic um dashboard for power bi this is the basic dashboard for Power BI. So if you're interested in this, if you're interested in creating this um, dashboard, stay to the end of this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, let's begin. So guys, this is the data set we worked on in our last um, video on how to clean data using Power BI. So if you're here to watch that video, I'll be linking the, um, I'll be putting the link in the description be, um, above so you can click on it and go to watch how to clean data using power bi so now the next thing is to click on close and apply so that we can start our analysis so after clicking on close and apply you will get to this um, um you get to this place so now this is your data set so when you, so when you close and apply you're going to get to this place so if you're having error when you close and apply and having error you don't need to bother just cancel it as long as you are seeing that data set there is fine so when you click on it it will expand and you can see all the columns so if you notice some of the columns have submission sign in front of them so those columns that have submission sign in front of them are number columns so they are summed already they are already summed by itself so any number column is usually summed in power bi so normally whenever you are analyzing a number column and a and a non-number column say test column you have to click on the number column first that's the sum, summed column you have to click on it first before you now select the second column that is not a summed column or a number column so looking at this, this is our data set so you have to look through it to understand your data you have to observe it so this is a sales data so there are many things that consign sales like total quantity customer id total sales price and so on so the first thing we are going to do is to create a kpi so kpi means key performance indicator we are going to create um things that help us to know the performance of our data set so the first thing we're going to do is to know the total quantity ordered so by selecting the total quantity column as we are seeing so so i selected it but it's, it's giving me a bad chart but i don't want a bad chart i want to know the number of um the total quantity that was ordered so i'll use this card i'll select the card so looking at that visualization panel you see card I will select the card so it will tell me the number. So we have 862,000 total orders that were made. So I will, you know, resize it to make it a little smaller to create space for orders. So the next KPI that we are going to create now is total sales. So I click on the total sales um, column. Then I will also change it. I also select the card because I want to know how many it is so we have 233.65 million sales that's the total sales that were made in these two years is 233.65 million so i also resize it and then go and find another kpi so the next kpi that we are going to use is customer id we want to know how many customers that we had so i'll select it and then click on card so we had um 20 billion customers right 20 billion customers okay so now um let's look for another column that we can use for kpi so um i think we should use um um okay other id i think other id should work okay yeah so we select the other id then also click on the card so that means we have 29 trillion orders so do all this means is that when one customer one customer can order like 20 or 20 or 50 products at once so all those co products maybe one customer to like 20 products or so so we have 29 total 29 trillion um 
29 union others right so i think this kpis are enough so we'll start our analysis proper so if in case you don't know what kpi are they they are things that help us to know the performance of our sales just like these four things looking at it you have an idea of how well your sales went right so we can start our analysis so we're going to look through our column to know what to, we can do so we're going to find out the the first thing i would like to do is to find out the gender how many the gender between the male and female which gender was able to do, do we, which gender normally you know patronizes us more so to do that i'll first click sorry not the gender column first you have to first click the total sales yeah remember click the column with the summation sign before you click the one without summation sign so i'll click the total sales then click the gender column click the gender column yeah so it says in card but we don't want it to be in card so i'm going to change it to a new a different um chart so um no no no, no. i want to use a pie chart i think a pie chart is better so then i will click on the focus auto focus so you are seeing that the dark blue is for the female and the light blue is for the male and based on this we are saying that uh, may have 50 points something uh, 50 percent sales than female so that means the male tend to patronize us more than female that means we get more money from the males than female so that means we should basically focus on getting more products for the males so that they will be able to patronize us more then the next thing we're going to do is total sales and um total sales and um region so we'll do total sales and region that's not the region that has the total sales so yeah it's looking at it you see that south has higher sales than other regions so we'll drag that beside the donut chart then we'll go on to do another analysis so we are still working with um, total sales right so we are going to do total sales by category so we'll first select the total sales then we we'll select category so we want to know the category of our product that has the highest sale so we'll select a, a bar chart stacked bar chart so yeah okay the, i think this is better so you notice that mobile and um mobile and tablet has more sales right that's i think this is why maybe why the male male gender tend to patronize us more because males they tend to you know buy mobile phone and tablet then things that female tend to get put uh, buy more are less they're not being patronized that much so i think this is this might be the reason why we have more male sales than female so it's to do what get more things that male are attracted to so that we can get more money that if we are going into recommendation that's what can be recommended for this company okay so we are going to go back now so we can continue the analysis we'll go back then we'll drag the charts close up yeah so the next thing we are going to do is total sales and either the state or month so sorry that state or city so let's try out state first so let's click on total sales click on total sales then let's check out after click on total sales let's check out um state let's select state and see if we should use state or city so yeah where is the state 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 yeah that's a state column so we're going to click on the state column now so this is total sales by state um no no okay i think city will be fine so let's do total sales by city instead so we are going to click total sales by city and then we are going to check let's check let's um zoom it focus mode to check so this city is the city where higher sales are being made right so it's important to take note of this city okay all right so now we are going to do the next analysis and i think next analysis will be total sales by month so we want to know the month that has the total sales so we'll be making use of that month column that we the month column that we extracted from the date right so we're going to select the total and then go back 
and select the month column so in case you did not watch our previous video on how to clean data or in power bi please go back and watch it i'll link the description i'll link the put the link in the description above again for you so watch it and you know so you can understand what we are saying the data was already cleaned before the analysis so yeah you notice that december has the highest sales and february has the lowest sales so they tend to have more sales in december than february so i think we should use a line chart because we use line chart to show trends across time so line chart would be better to represent this information so it's the same thing total higher sales in december and then lower sales in february right okay guys so we are going to do the next analysis the next analysis will be quantity ordered by category so we want to know the category of our product that had that was most ordered so we select the category the quantity ordered column and then we'll go and select the category column so yeah then let's zoom it and find out okay see mobile mobile and tablet has the highest quantity ordered followed by others right mobile and tablet has the highest quantity order that maybe that's why we have more sales total sales highest it also has the highest total sales so yeah i think this um this um, analysis is enough so we are, what we're going to do now is that we are going to start arranging our data we're going to start arranging our charts i mean so we're going to drag it make sure that they all are they are all in the same line and also they have the same size right they have the same size so it's very important that your dashboard look well arranged very very important okay so i'm done arranging it for now so we are going to create a slicer right and we're going to use region to create a slicer so to create a slicer in power bi I first select the column you want to use a slicer then click the slicer and um, visual so yeah now we've created the slicer the west so the midwest when you click on it so it's get all the information in our chart is going to be tailored for that particular region so you notice that the sum of um the sum of orders for midwest is 253 000 total sales is 2.92 million then some of um quantity orders 6 billion so some of quantity of that is 8 billion and so on so if you check this other chart every function will be tailored according to any region you click on so if i click on south it's going to give me information for south if i click on on west it's going to give me information on west so this is basically how um slicers work right so we are going to create another slicer we are going to create um a a date slicer a slicer with a date with our date column our other uh, other date column so when you are working with when you want to create slicer for a date column you should always click on the slicer visuals first before you click on the date column right click on it first before you click on the date column but whenever you are um working you want to create slicer with another column you can click the column first and then select the slicer but for date column click on the slicer first then you select date column so i've already clicked on the slicer then i will go and look for um our other dates so that's the other date so we have created our slicer our date slicer here so we drag it there so this is a, a yeah we're going to do that to get more space pan so yeah looking at this um this slicer now it's currently on 10th it's currently on october 1st 2020 2020 so when you you know adjust it it's going to change the date and every information for that date will come out right so if i drag it again back it's going to give me information for that particular date so are you seeing the importance of slicers so it's really really needed in our dashboard creation so guys basically we are done creating our dashboard the next thing we are going to do now is to create the title of our dashboard then we'll finish and um, we'll do some finishing touches and then we are done for today so if you are still watching till now please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to get notified when a new video is being posted right so i'm doing a series on power bi so if you want to learn how to use power bi for your visualization then please 
like and subscribe to this um, channel so you can get all that content so basically i'm just arranging my charts i'm just resizing and arranging it and when i'm done i'm now going to create a title for this dashboard so to create a title you have to click on this text box we are going to insert a text box then you start typing so the name of our the title of our dashboard is going to be sales data analysis dashboard dashboard that's going to be the title of our dashboard so we're going to highlight it and then increase the font size so yeah that's this i would like to make it 40 so i think 40 will be better yeah so i'll select 40 then i'm going to make it bold then drag it drag it to the right to expand it so I'll drag it to the light, right and drag it to the left also to expand it. So yeah, this is cool. So what we have to do now is to arrange the dashboard. As you can see, it's looking very scattered. We have to, we have to arrange it. But before we start arranging it, I would like us to change the canvas, the color of the canvas background. So to change it, you go to format page. You click on format page. Then you select canvas background then you see the color is white so you can click on it and change the color to whatever color you want but you see that when we clicked on it it's not reflecting yet so we are going to take the transparency to zero when you drag it to zero you see the color will reflect so you see this color now helps us you know see the state of our dashboard i'll make it easier for us to arrange it properly so this is as i said earlier this is a basic dashboard creation for power bi for beginners in power bi we still have so many um visualization we can do very nice colorful and very interactive visualization that can be done in power bi so if you want to know how to make better interactive dashboards in power bi please click the subscribe button subscribe and also click on the notification bell to be notified when that video is being posted so basically i'm just arranging the i'm just arranging the dashboard right so i'm just yeah i'm just arranging it so it looks better right it looks proper yeah so just arrange it make sure they are looking straight so guys this is our dashboard all arranged and looking so much better so are you seeing the difference between a well arranged dashboard and a scattered dashboard so you can pause the video and you know arrange your dashboard and resize it to get this perfect looking dashboard so congratulations you've created your first dashboard using power bi hope you enjoyed today's class see you bye